What's going on everyone? This is Luke with My Simple Land. Uh, back with a cool video for you today. Uh, something a little bit different. Um, we're taking a look at um, my newest piece of equipment that I got for basically for free um, in a property transaction. So the way this worked is I bought um, around 130 acres from a seller. It was a cool farm and he owned this mule. And uh, take a look at it here. You can see um, these are these are classic mules. Um, they still make them today. This is from 1998, if I remember correctly. I had to run the serial number and kind of do some work on trying to figure out everything about it. Um, but yeah, this is a killer deal for getting it basically for free. Um, four by four uh, is a Kawasaki mule, M-U-L-E. Um, if you don't know, they still make them today. Uh, this one's in a little bit rougher shape, um, exterior wise. Obviously it was on a farm, so, um, <laughs> you know, it was used for farm work uh, and mostly hunting too, farm and hunting. Uh, but it's got a few upgrades. It's got some cool stuff for it. Um, obviously it's got the gun rack on the back. It's got a windshield, even though it's been knocked around by tree branches, it, uh, it actually still does some good. Um, it had, like a canvas roof on it, but unfortunately when I was towing it back to my house, uh, it flew off. So <laughs> and I, I couldn't find it. So um, this thing's really cool. So I'll take you through some of the features. Um, it's got, um, of course, it's got four wheel drive, two wheel drive. Um, but on top of that, it actually has locking diffs so they're unlocked now and high low speeds so um, and it's got some lights on it too but you can see the value of it is really in this let's see neutral so almost 30 years old and it still runs very well um, if it's cold it needs to be choked and you know, it's, it's actually hard to get warmed up. Um, but once it's warmed up and, you know, the temperature is actually warm right now, once it's warmed up, it actually runs really well. Um, so, you know, I think this is a pretty simple thing to work on. Um, everything I found online says the exact thing I, I experienced. You know, it's harder to work on, uh, or excuse me, it's hard to start, but once it is starting, it works really well. Uh, there's a couple things wrong with it, of course. Um, I actually have no idea what this switch does, so I need to do some research. It looks aftermarket, so I'm guessing it's for something else. Um, and it's got this dump bed, which I'm not actually sure that is stock. Um, but when I was looking around, I can see <laughs> my kids were playing in there. So there's an orange. But you can see this little pump right here. There's hydraulic hoses that go to a ram, a lift. And so I think it's actually a hydraulic lift. And one of those hoses was disconnected, so there's no hydraulic fluid running through it. And so obviously you hear the pump, but the bed doesn't move. So got to do some work on that. And I don't know anything about that. So, so you can see part of the dump bed, it's got this locking thing here. I don't know if that's stock. I doubt it. Uh, bed comes down and you can just kind of dump stuff in it. It's an awesome utility vehicle. Perfect for hunting. I'm sure that's what this was mostly used for. Uh, you can kind of see this. It goes back in like, like so. I don't, also, I don't know if anybody else has had this experience, but these things will snap your finger like no one's business. This one's a little weak, but I'm sure you haven't lived until you've had your finger snapped by one of those. It's got a hitch too. Um, I don't know how much towing this will do, but probably not much. Um, but yeah, the seller said um, it goes with the property. So bought the property and, uh, you know, obviously it didn't make sense to leave it down at the farm that I'll probably never go to again and um you know so just pulled it back home 
put it in their driveway. The kids have been goofing around with it and they love it. So yeah, it'll be, I need to buy a trailer for it. Also, if you have trailer recommendations, let me know. Um, I just borrowed a buddy's trailer to bring it up here. Um, so if you have trailer recommendations, let me know. But, you know, this is going to be the new land scouting vehicle. Um, this is actually something I've been looking to buy for a while. Um, maybe not exactly this specific brand, but, um, you know, something for, for looking around on properties. I do a ton of work with large tracts of land and not always do they have uh, trails cut in where you can drive around but sometimes they do and so having something like this would be sweet so especially at the great price of free uh, but anyway let me know what you think if you guys have one of these Kawasaki mules this one is not diesel um, I know there's a couple different types but this is a 2510 4x4 from 1998 so I, I hope they're easy to work on um, I think this one might need like a carburetor cleaning and everything, but you know, other than that, it starts right up. It's, it's great. Um, you know, it's literally just put it in neutral. It starts right up. So battery's good. Starter's good. You know, obviously it's got spark and compression. Um, might just need a little bit of a fuel cleaning and figure out what that hydraulic issue is, but Anyway, let me know if you guys know anything about these. I'd love to, you know, get some advice on them and maybe get someone who knows what they're doing to take a look at it. So anyway, thought this would be a fun video. Let me know if you guys have any questions. See ya.